What is going on everybody, Matitude22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Dark Tower figures from uh, Diamond Select. Now I know these have been out for a long, 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 long time. And I just recently got them because uh, they were marked down. They were really cheap on BBTS and I actually, uh, I, I kind of like the Dark Tower movie. I know a lot of people didn't and I certainly like one out of the two figures uh you can you can guess throughout the video which one so figured do them review them together because there's not a lot to say about uh each of them so just getting right into it you can see the diamond select box there for the man in black brief bio right there if you want to read that of course pause the video now you can see dark tower on the side on the front just gigantic overly huge diamond select boxes and then you can see the bio for the gunslinger again if you want to read that of course pause the video now same idea like i said pretty uh pretty massive packaging right there uh overall looking at the figures all right so looking at man in black first and they do come with accessories uh I just don't I don't I don't have them it's not that I don't have them I have them somewhere buried in my accessory bin uh, it's just it's just more or less that these figures I, I, I didn't really think these figures are good enough or I don't really care about them enough to warrant digging through that to get to them but anyway let, let's get right into it so there you go Face sculpt for the Man in Black is good. I don't really think it looks that much like Matthew McConaughey. I don't know, but it looks all right. I mean, the sculpt on the hair is nice. The jacket is a soft goods, but it does have a weird feel to it. I don't know. It has a weird feel. It doesn't feel quite right. Uh, you probably could remove the jacket if you want to. Uh, again, we could. It's not attached can see the wrinkled up collar collar shirt not a lot else really going on with this figure he's got his kind of dress pants uh everything on the figure is just black he's a man in black right so he's all he's dressed all in black and you can see he's got hands uh one of the accessories they, well they pretty much it came with alternate hands they, they both just came with alternate hands and he came with two like crystal balls I forget what they were used for in the movie. He came with two of those. And Idris Elba just came with uh, alternate hands. That's about it. I think he might have come with a book. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really remember. I don't remember. Uh, excuse me. Whew. All right. Articulation on this guy is pretty minimal. Head doesn't move. Arm doesn't move. It's just on a cut joint. Doesn't move in and out. Shoulder... He, he should bend in the elbow, but he doesn't. It's it's stuck, and I, I don't want to try to force it and break it. But he does rotate in the elbow. The hand does rotate. He's got a weird top diaphragm joint, and that's about it. The legs don't move, except they move out. So he moves. they move out this far. He kicks that far forward. Kicks back, but the jacket is kind of stiff, so that's going to cut you off a little bit. And he does have a double joint in me, but I don't know. I don't know how good a range of motion you're going to be able to get on that. And... The feet do rotate and... Hinge, so he does have an ankle rocker. They do hinge forward and back. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's why I kind of... Oh, and they do have a thigh swivel. So there you go. That's why I kind of figured I would review them together. Because this is not... Uh, this is not an interesting figure to any degree. I probably would have passed on this one. But obviously, you got to get them both. And especially BBDS had them on sale. I think for the both, I think they were like $14.00. For both, so pretty good. Um, I would say I can't even get them to stand correctly. But alright, here we go. The 
far better of the two figures we have the gunslinger a lot better face sculpt on here i think this is a lot looks a lot more like a drizz elba really dig the face sculpt here and on the jacket you can see he's got the red the red scarf which is not painted the best uh, you can see the painting is pretty sloppy and then he's got the white shirt and but the buckles on front here are painted and the belt buckles painted so that's very very nice his jacket has a same kind of feeling to it and same idea you could remove the jacket but it it wouldn't work as well here because if you took the jacket off you would still have the sleeves to match it so you can see there's two i don't know if it picks up well on camera but there's two shades of gray here um so if you were to take the jacket off it would match it, it, it wouldn't uh, necessarily match right just standard brown pants and some brown shoes uh but holy cow the guns the guns alone i think are worth 14 dollars um let me get out because they just look really really cool he comes with two of them great kind of western looking six shooters handle is painted and they do have a nice kind of dark kind of dirty dry wash over this gunmetal paint um i think those are worth the 14 dollars actually i think this guy is worth 14 dollars he comes with this again i haven't seen the movie in a while so i forget what this is but i just kind of tuck it in there i know it doesn't really go in there but i just kind of tuck it in there uh like i said just a really really cool figure don't need to go over the articulation he comes with all the same articulation as man in black just it's all better they do come with two display bases so um kind of i kind of forget which one comes with which but you you have two this one's pretty nice it looks like a classroom there's some sunglasses maybe a focus maybe some pencils there looks like a remote and then this one's just kind of a wall all hail the crimson king uh there you go they don't really fit together in any kind of way, but it's dumb and select. They like to do the whole base thing, which is fine. And this one's actually quite nice. You can see the floor is really sculpted, really detailed nicely. Very nice. So, I mean, if you could, if you, it looks like a chipping away wallpaper. If you could kind of take out the writing, chip away at the writing, that would be a really nice, uh, that would be a really nice wall for some photography. But that is it for these two. Again, Good figure, really good figure here. Uh, arguably, this figure was better than the movie was, but I actually kind of still like the movie, so I'm, I'm not going to insult it too much. This figure sucks. Get get rid of him. But right here, definite winner. If you haven't picked up this figure, I, I do highly suggest it, because although he's not super poseable and his hand is a little wiggly, uh, I think this is still a nice figure and a very, very cool display piece. But... That is it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, guys, all that good stuff. If you didn't like the video, of course, that's totally okay, too. Feel free to give it a big thumbs down. But if you do if you do decide to thumbs it down, make sure you at least come out and come back and check out the next video. Because you might like that one a little better. There's only one way to find out. Uh, don't forget, social media links are in the description as they are of every single video that I do. And guys, make sure you visit The Sanctuary on Facebook and on YouTube. Visit Clickbait Wrestling on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, next figure we're going to be looking at is quite different from the not super poseable Diamond Select figures. We are going to be looking at the Revel Tech Deathstroke, who is uh, arguably... Well, not arguably. He has much more articulation than these two. Not arguably, he does. But that is it. Hopefully, you guys will come back and check out that next video. Have, as always, have a great day, whatever it is you're doing today. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support, and I will see you in the next video. And.